Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to return multiple values from a lookup. We have a table and we're going to select one item from that table and we're going to return multiple results that match that and also return varying numbers of items depending on the number we select. So let's take a look and see how we can do that in Excel. So here's what we have. We have a table here. It looks like in that table we have uh, 48 items in the list. And there's the model number repeats and there's different inventories depending on the location. I want to be able to put a data validation drop down list here and then by selecting the model number have the, all the different inventory values appear here and then total them up at the bottom. And here's the different functions we're going to use, if, error, index, small, if, and row. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our data validation list. So I'm going to select the models here, copy that, and I'm just going to go over here and paste those, and go to data, remove duplicates for that, say uh, my uh, data does not have a header row. I'll say OK. And now there is my list of different parts. So I can go to uh, cell G2, data validation, select list, and my source of the list is going to be these part numbers. I will say OK. And now I have a drop down of the varying different parts that appear in my table here. Also, I'm going to want to put a uh, sum function here. So whatever I get that populates this uh, column uh, will total up at the bottom so I get a total inventory for that part. Now, one thing you need to do is create an area here that you know will be larger than the largest number of any single item that you have here so it doesn't go beyond uh, where our total row is. So now that we have our data validation dropdown and we have our total, now we need to build our formula. And again, we're going to use if error index small if and row. Now if error will just be used so that any cell in this column here that returns an error, let's say there's only four items of a certain model number, so cell 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. won't have an error appear, it'll just return a blank. So we're going to build the formula from index down and then we'll add the if error at the end. And this is also going to be an array formula, so we're going to need to enter it with control shift and enter. So let's start building our formula. Like I said, we have our drop down arrow here, so I can pick any of the model numbers here. Now I'm going to go over to cell H2 and start building our formula. So I'm going to start out with equals index and my array is going to be the inventory. So I'll select that column of data and hit comma and then the row number is going to be determined by the small function. So I'll type small and within small we need an array and then a K number. The array is going to be built off of an if statement. And the logical test is, does this cell, and I'm going to lock that to make it a, a absolute cell reference, equal the list of models here. So I'll select that. If so, then I want row number of the list of models. And I'll close off that. But since that starts in row 2, I'm going to subtract a 1, close that parentheses. Now I have to determine the k of the small function, so I'll have comma, and that's just going to be a count of 1 through the number of rows. So I'm just going to use the row function again, put cell A1 in there, so as that copies down, that will just count one through however many rows we have here. I think we have 48. So now I have to close off the, the small function, the index function, and then I'm going to use Control Shift Enter to enter that, and I get 609. So if we look for B234, the first value is 609. If I look for 
BP197, 1756. If I go down here, that's the second one, 1756. So I'm going to take and copy that down. And you see I get two responses or two results from BP197, then a series of uh, errors because there are no ones further beyond that. But there's only two listings of BP197 in our data. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to wrap it in an if error function. Go to the end, comma, put uh, a blank in there, close off if error, and again hit control shift enter. Now I'll copy that down, and you can see I have, in this case, two results for that one. If I select another one, maybe I get five or six results, and any one I choose, I'll get a different number of results based on the list and the number that we have there. BB234 certainly seems to have the largest quantity. So basically all we've done here is taken the if error and wrapped it around this formula to eliminate the um, errors where there's no values there. We just put in a blank. And we use the index function. And we click on that and you see for the index function, the array is the inventory. And the row number is determined by the small if and the two row functions. The small function, the array, is the if and row functions there. And then the K number is determined by row A1. As that's copied down, it'll be row A2, row A3, etc. So that'll just return 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And so anytime we get the match between the logical test here and uh, where there are row numbers minus 1, that'll determine the numbers that we have within the small formula. And then that number at the first smallest, second smallest, third smallest, etc., from the inventory list, from the index array, will then start populating the results into our table. And again, I have to enter it with Control Shift Enter because it is an array formula and that puts the curly brackets around our formula because we are trying to compare a single cell here against a whole row of items to determine which ones match and which ones don't. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.